General Kenobi. There we go. In this episode, we will do a little bit more resource gathering. Uh, so, I went through and recorded a, a bunch more gameplay. It was, I, I gathered wood, I set up a chicken farm that I'll show you in, in, in a second. And then once I finished, I realized that I accidentally stopped, stopped the recording <gasps> three minutes into it. So I, yeah, not happy about that. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. But I uh, didn't really miss much. I was just kind of, um, yeah, I was just kind of chopping down trees, thinking about options for this base. So, but first off, let's see here. Uh, thank you all who, who commented last week uh, about what to name the cat and the llama. And the winner, as we can see from the name of the cat, Luke Skywhisker! Thank you, thank you so much to, to Grant who came up with these two hilarious names. The, the second of which being La Mamiya. Yeah, nice. Thank you, th thank you so much, Grant. Those are awesome names. They were, they were the clear winners in the vote. Um, but everyone else who, who commented down names, I will save those, those names and will, uh, name some more, some, some, some other animals, those names. Uh, once, once we get name tags, uh, I'm not sure how many name tags we will end up getting, but I will definitely save save those names because there were some great names down there. And also, Mundungus. Mundungus Flasher. Just kind of uh, doing laps, I guess. And But yeah, so another thing that we did, we found a wandering trader over here as I was cutting down trees. But... As always, his deals are terrible. Three emeralds for a cactus. <laughs> no, thank you. So there's that. But basically with the base, what I was thinking, having our main base base area up here, possibly using concrete as, as the building, the main building structure, uh, have different parts in, in acacia wood to match the theme here. And also have at least one big dock here because thinking about this this little island here I was thinking if if this was real they would the the only way that they would really be able to get supplies is through uh, ships through through importing and so uh, the any supplies that are out of out of the ordinary um, and so they they would need a dock here and also their major export would be probably be fishing and some food so they 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 don't have a ton of land space but more on more on the other side of the island but um i definitely want to add more farming areas over there and also want to add a wall around the whole island i'm thinking diorite because di diorite is a an igneous rock uh i have a geology a uh, geologist friend who uh will definitely set me straight but um it's formed from it's yeah it comes from uh, volcanoes basically um and i'm probably oversimplifying it but um and since this is an island i wouldn't think that it would be too too out there to assume that it was made by a volcano but again i <laughs> Yeah, everyone's gonna be yelling at me in the comments. That's not how islands are made. Yeah, okay. But um, also make sure to in in the comments leave leave different ideas for this base because I, I want to spend a lot of time building up this 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 island here, making a cool base, and then also exploring other islands. So and and other land messes because. Who knows that 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 area right there might be might be a huge landmass. Never know. Um, also, another thing that we did, um, well, that I did that unfortunately was lost, was made this little chicken farm. So 
I uh, started breeding some chickens. Chickens? Chickens? Chickens. Mechanical chickens as far as the eye can see. Boy, don't have any seeds on me right now. But let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chickens. Chickens? Nice. Uh, eventually, I want to create an automatic chicken farm. But and I need to go to the nether first. And to go to the nether, I need diamonds. Well, technically you can make a portal and do that, but a uh, portal without a pickaxe, but I need some nether quartz to do more redstone circuitry stuff. And then once we do that, we could put the automatic chicken farm, may maybe right here, I don't know. And yeah, get that going so that don't don't have to worry about starving at all times. Um, yeah, so today, I got my shovel here. Let's go around to the back of the island. All right, so back here, I could start taking out some of the sand. All right, let's get some gravel. Ah, here's the gravel. Oh yeah, this is uh it this this area right here looks like it wanted to form a cave, but it just kind of stopped for, for whatever reason. All right, let's go back to safety. Oh, a cave. Wow. Nice, I'll have to explore that. Yeah, well, I'll probably do some mining and wood cutting uh, outside of the recording. Oh, nice just to uh, to get a little more progress done before the next episode. Oh, did he fall in the water? He did! Nice! General Kenobi. There we go. Oh yeah, th thank you to uh, Aiko for, for reminding me about shields. I almost always have a shield 
but for for whatever reason in the battle in the last episode, I didn't make a shield, <laughs> even though that would have really come in handy. So let's take some of these. I feel like in every world I'm always on the brink of starvation until I get an automatic farm going. Yeah, and once we get more iron, we can add a whole hopper setup to uh, collect eggs so that we can turn this into an egg farm and then also make a chicken meat farm. What I'm going to do is try out this concrete thing and let's take, I'm thinking blue would, would be nice because blue is going to contrast well with the peach, orange, reddish, whatever color this is. Um, the, the blue is going to contrast well with it. So I think blue might, might be a good accent color. And, but to do, to get that, we need blue flowers or lapis lazuli, which I, yeah, I think I got some of that. All right, that would be an invaluable. So let's take some of this and then, oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, blue concrete powder. All right, that's, that's pretty good. So 16 powder and then what we do here is we take a bucket. Take some water. And then, let's do this right here. And then we, the concrete powder has to come in contact with water. And then it turns it into hardened concrete or just 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 concrete but i love this stuff it, the 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 texture is perfectly even and it looks awesome because concrete powder when you uh yeah concrete powder acts acts like sand so it it, it obeys the laws of physics <laughs> weird thing in this game and but then the regular concrete it it acts more like cobblestone where it doesn't obey the laws of physics. So there is a way to have an like a semi-automatic concrete farm that eventually I will do, but again, I need to go to the nether for that. Let's do this. You can also r run it along the side. So just to show you, yeah, it just water water has to come in contact with it. I don't think Yeah, if you go one lower it doesn't work. So let's do this. Alright, there we go. Aw. Oh, this looks so good. And then I could play around with cyan and light blue and do a whole a whole look with it uh let's try some light blue that might be cool yeah because there's uh blue light blue cyan i think those are the only colors that are bluish because there's 16 colors i believe uh let's take bone, bone meal, and blue dye, light blue dye, and then make some light blue concrete powder, and then do the same thing. Oh, also, one thing that I made in the lost recording 
was over here. I hope it's not out of render distance. Oh, okay, yeah. It, it looks like it's good. I made a sugar island. <laughs> yeah, so growing some sugar cane. And yeah, because sugar cane is going to be useful for books, but, but also for uh, rockets to use with, with elytra, which are more end game type materials. But it's, it's, it's always good to start farms, farms early before you need them. I, I, run in, I, I run into that problem every run through where I get to a point and I'm like, oh wait, I need, I need a lot of sugarcane or a lot of this, this, this material that I can farm. And then, but nope, I was not prepared. Looks a little purple on my screen, at least. Oh, hi. Hello there. See, shields. Shields are awesome. <laughs> Thank you again, Ico. Yeah, I'm looking. I might do a light. I might do the light blue because it would also match the sky. Oh yeah. Also with the pink of the, of the sunset with this. Yeah, that'll be sweet. Or maybe do both. I don't know. Fun stuff to play with, though. What? What are you doing? Come over here. Oh yeah, this guy looks uh, kind of scary if you're not paying attention. But yeah, the uh, the the armor stands are really cool. What next? Um, oh, I want to get some more diorite. Let's check if I have any right now. I have two. That'll not be enough.
But yeah, I like Diorite because it's it's brighter than Cobblestone, which will definitely go with this island. And there we go. It's brighter than Cobblestone, but but it still has a lot of cool cool textures in it. And yeah, I think this will make for a really cool wall. And it's and it's a neutral color, so I can add accents in. I didn't bring the concrete, but I can add add accents in to make it look really cool and, and flow well with, with my base. So yeah, I, th I think I think we're going to go with Diorite, but um, I'm definitely open to hearing your guys' suggestions. Thank you to, to everyone who who watches these these videos. It, 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 it really means a lot to me. Uh, don't, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, all that fun stuff. Alright. See you next time!